I like this space very much, the 9 by 9 by 9 space, because it's like a funnel. And it's like a funnel into my mind, and it's also like a, almost like a transportation vehicle. And this is the first wall painting in the UK that I've done, I've been told. Um, I feel like I've proposed a lot of different things for London over the years, but I've done wall paintings around the world, and this is the first time I've been able to do one in the UK. And um, I think that this space does have a vert, even though it's nine by nine by nine, um, it has a verticality to it. And I like the idea of this sort of chamber before you go into the other show. It is sort of like a, 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 a snippet. And, and, and in a way, the, the phrase ataraxia, which is also in the film Finite and Infinite Games, is a bit of an ironic stance in the sense of obviously <clears throat> I don't think I have ataraxia and I don't think many people have ataraxia but it is an it is an interesting concept as an end state of uh, would this be something interesting to somehow momentarily have you know uh, in a city or in a space would it be interesting to achieve this and can you achieve this through art i'm not really sure because the mind is constantly working as the as speech is constantly working too and thoughts are constantly moving and flowing so i don't think it's really i think it's an impossible state and that's what i was really after is this idea of this impossible state but i do think ataraxia as a concept as a means to an end like to try to be very calm or poker face you know to have this element that you can go into battle you can go into many different situations if you have that. So this goes back to my um, concepts of like engagement with forces that I don't like. You know, I try to be as calm, I and mean, I'm not always calm, but I try to be as cool and as calm as I can when I'm involved with things that I find repulsive. And what I gain out of that being engaged with those forces is I gain a perspective that sometimes I think other artists don't have. Um, because I've, I've, I've met with the Olympic Committee. I see how they're uh, attempting to charge $80 million for like a certain series of images, and yet I've bypassed that, you know, and, and I'm, not, I'm not playing that game with them, so I'm treated in a different way. And it's interesting to know this currency of images, because there is a currency of images operating in the world, and, and it is very commercial. And yet, art is, it, it is commercial, but in a way it's not. I mean, it's certainly not functioning like that. 